you wish your weaker foot was stronger, not only can it be, it should be if you want to be a top player. In this video, I'll show you how to improve your weaker foot in only one day. I'm Dylan Tooby of Progressive Soccer. And if you're new to this channel and you want to improve faster and achieve more in this game, hit the subscribe button and that bell notification right now so you never miss a video. If you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit that like button right now. What's the number one reason most players have a weak foot that lets them down when they play? It's sad and you may not want to admit it, and I'll explain that a little later in this video. But first, I want you to know that I'm exactly like you. I'm naturally right-footed, and when I started playing, I had a pretty weak left foot. But over time, I realized the importance of having two strong feet, and I made a commitment to improve my basic skills in both feet. Now, I've grown to the point where sometimes you can't even tell which foot I am. I'll be playing in a game and the opposition will say, he's only left-footed, keep him on his right. Then I'll cut in on my right foot and rip a shot into the top corner. Having two strong feet will increase your ability to make a difference on the field. You will be harder to defend, have the ability to score more goals, create more chances, and lose the ball far less often because you will be able to rely on your so-called weaker foot. So you're probably wondering, what's the number one reason that most players have a weak foot that lets them down when they play? Well, you may not want to admit this to yourself, but if you do, you can change it and improve your weak foot very quickly. If you currently have a weak foot, you must understand that you made a choice. You made a choice to give one foot more attention than the other. You made a choice to give one foot more touches, more passes, more shots, and more repetitions. You made a choice to neglect one foot. So now you need to make the choice to have two strong feet. I'll show you a few tricks to speed up the development process of your weaker foot. But at the end of the day, it comes down to repetitions. Your stronger foot has had hundreds of thousands of more repetitions more touches, more passes, more shots, more everything. When you decide to make the same amount of repetitions in each foot, you will have two strong feet. You cannot go back in time. You can only focus on today to make tomorrow better. It will take time for you to improve your weaker foot and make it as good as your strong foot. But if you follow this five-step process, you can actually see noticeable improvements. You can improve your confidence and your ability in your weaker foot in only one day. The first thing you're going to do is throughout the whole day, you're going to keep a ball with you at your feet around your house. So while you're doing your daily activities, keep that ball at your feet everywhere you go whether you're in the living room sitting down watching some tv you're going to the kitchen getting something to eat you're even going to the bathroom i want you to have that ball on your foot using only your weaker foot so throughout the day you're going to get hundreds of thousands of more touches simply by keeping a ball with you while you're at home now don't break anything keep it nice and casual but as you move throughout the day keep that ball on your weaker foot now it's time to get into your weak foot training session and to get started I want you to run to a wall and while you're running there I want you to dribble with the ball using only your weaker foot so as you're dribbling to this wall yes I want you to be very careful dribble with your head up watch out for cars be safe but while you're dribbling focus on using only that weaker foot practicing different skills and tricks along the way once you get to the wall, it's time to complete your weak foot training session. First, you're going to complete 500 collective juggles on your weaker foot. Collective means if you drop the ball, you're going to pick it up and start again, continuing at the number that you left off at. So if you juggled for 20, you drop the ball, then you start again at 21. You're going to get 500 consecutive juggles. When you're juggling, focus on making strong foot contact, getting nice backspin on the ball. You can vary your touches with big ones and small ones. The most important thing here is that you are getting in 
those repetitions. Now, if you wanna make it a little easier or you need to break it down just so you can get those touches and get those successful repetitions on your weaker foot, you can start with a kick and catch. So just kick the ball once on your weaker foot, catch it, and then you can go to two touches and three touches. Next, you're going to complete 500 collective passes on your weaker foot. So here you're focusing on passing, but also receiving. And focus on the quality of your first touch as well as the quality of your pass. When you're, when you're passing, you are trying to get your body over the ball, opening up your foot if you're using the inside of your foot, or making a really strong flex foot if you're using the outside of your foot. Just focus on that strong contact. Your first touch, you wanna to get it out of your feet so you can step into the pass. Most important here is the repetitions, but focus on your quality. Be light on your feet, always ready to move. Focus on getting that first touch out of your feet and stepping into your pass. Once you do a little bit of two touch, move into one touch passing. These still count as those 500 collective passes. Finally, you're going to do 500 collective shots. Now, when you're shooting, what you're really focusing on here is making good contact, good foot contact, good, nice shooting technique, nice follow through towards your target, body over the ball, but really focus on a strong foot contact here. You are not focusing on power. If you're going to hit the ball as hard as you can and do 500 shots on your weaker foot, your weak leg is going to be destroyed tomorrow because it's simply not used to this amount of repetitions. So while you're shooting, focus on good foot technique, good shooting technique, and not power. You can also complete this workout at home if you don't have the ability to go outside or enough time. All of these exercises can be completed in the comfort of your own home. You can use your couch as an alternative to a wall. To get more out of this workout and the continued training of your weaker foot, there are two key ideas that I want you to focus on. The more repetitions you complete, the more you will improve your technique. The more you analyze each repetition, the faster you will improve. If you have a bad touch, a bad shot, a bad pass, think about what you did wrong and what you need to change the next time. You can help yourself by comparing your weaker foot to your stronger foot. How do you strike the ball differently on your right foot compared to your left? What do you do differently with your toes, your ankle, your follow through, your contact? Analyze, compare, and make the necessary adjustments to improve faster. You may know what to do with your weaker foot, but you're not able to do it because you don't have the strength, mobility, or muscle memory to complete the technique. What you want to do is really focus on a strong overemphasis of your foot technique. So here you can see that the foot is weak. The ankle is not locked, the toes aren't flexed, the foot isn't strong. But when you make it strong, you really overemphasize that technique, you will feel that your weaker foot will improve instantly. First of all, I want you to eliminate the phrase weak foot from your vocabulary. I hate hearing that. You shouldn't have a weak foot. From now on, you have two strong feet. Maybe one isn't as good as the other, but you're working to make them both strong and capable feet. So let's summarize how you're going to improve your weaker foot in only one day. First of all, you're going to dribble a ball at home everywhere you go around the house you're going to keep a ball on your foot and you're only going to use your weaker foot. Number two, when it's time to complete this little workout that you're going to do, you're going to dribble to the wall. You're going to run with the ball, dribbling with only your weaker foot, getting your head up, focusing on the quality of your touches. When you get there, you're going to complete 500 collective juggles. So that means you juggle as many times as you can with your weaker foot. If you drop the ball, just pick it up and go again until you complete 500 in total. You are going to do 500 passes, focusing on the quality of 
your passing technique, but also your receiving and your first touch with only your weaker foot. Finally, you're going to complete 500 shots. Remember, just focus on making good contact with the ball, good strong foot technique, nice follow through towards your target, getting those repetitions, not focusing on power that will come later. So if you complete these five steps, I promise you will have a stronger, weaker foot in only one day. So don't waste your time. You watch this video for a reason. It's because you want to improve your weaker foot. So you know what to do, but unless you actually do it, you're not going to get the results that you want. Now, obviously you can complete this workout multiple times. You can use it forever. But if you really want to see those improvements in one day, I want you to do this at least one time. I want to hear what you think. Have you used any other methods in the past that have helped you improve your weaker foot? Or are you currently struggling with some very specific issues around your weaker foot that I could help you with? Please comment below. Remember, this is a community of people on the same mission as you to improve faster and achieve more. We are all here to help each other. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button right now and share this video on social media.